All right, hi everybody. It's a wonderful little question. We get to play with permutations here. And we're gonna simplify. Uh, that's gonna involve converting this into factorial notation uh, right away to help us work with this. Th this notation is just a shorthand. Really, the, the math comes out of the, the factorial version of this. And this is going to end up being n factorial over n minus six factorial divided by n factorial over n minus four factorial. Okay, now that, because it's a, it's a complex fraction here, so I'm gonna make this easy on myself. So I'm gonna make this n factorial over n minus six factorial. Okay, we're dividing by a fraction, so I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So this will be multiplied by n minus four factorial over n factorial. And that was a great thing to do because my n factorials will cancel. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up here. That means that this expression here becomes n minus four factorial over n minus six factorial. Okay, now we gotta ask a question and this is where a lot of times people will get a little turned around here. I've got to expand one of these things out. I'm going to expand the larger one, okay? So which of these is gonna be larger, n minus four or n minus six? Well, I hope it's obvious here that the answer is n minus four. Okay, just pick a number for n, like 20. 20 minus four is 16, 20 minus six is 14. Oh, okay, so this is bigger here. Oftentimes people just look at those numbers and they'll choose wrong, say, well, six is bigger than four. Yeah, 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 but I'm subtracting it. Okay, so when I subtract four, because I'm subtracting a smaller number, this is larger here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to expand out the, the factorial with the larger value there. So n minus four factorial will be n minus four multiplied by, okay, well, what's one digit smaller than that? Well, let's just go back to my example with 20. If n is 20, 20 minus four is 16. Well, how do I go from 20 to, to 15, the next one? Well, I would minus five, okay. Well, how would I go to the next smaller number, which is 14? Well, I would take 20 minus six. So the next one's gonna be n minus six. And I'm gonna stop there because that is the, the, the term that I'm looking for in the denominator. So I will throw a factorial there to indicate that from here, this is gonna go all the way down to one. Compare that to uh, the denominator, which will be n minus six factorial, again, all the way down to one. Those are gonna be identical, and so we are going to be left with n minus four times n minus five. Now, I, I don't exactly know what the expectations might be. You might have to clarify this with your instructor, but I mean, you might wanna expand that out to get n squared, minus nine n plus 20 when you distribute the, the factors there. Anyway, there you go.